Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Alteryx tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the spatial tools in Alteryx and doing an overview of the really core tools from this category. We'll start off taking a look at the Create Points tool to take a longitude and latitude and create a spatial object that we can manipulate in Alteryx. We'll then draw a trade area around that point. Compare that to another data set capturing some spatial information and doing a spatial match, and then using the spatial process tool to cut one spatial object from another. This sample workflow is available in your Alteryx designer. If you follow help and sample workflows, this is map a trade area around a store. So a nice well-documented canvas here. I've added a couple of browse tools so we can evaluate these spatial objects. Down at the bottom of the canvas, input number four has an Alteryx database file with some spatial polygons. So using the browse tool, we can see these polygons on the map. So we've got some cities in Wyoming. And input number one, we only have one record. And here we have Fins and Feathers Pet Shop, and we're given a latitude and longitude along with their phone and address. We only need the longitude and latitude, and we can map them here to the X field and Y field of our create points tool. And this tool will do exactly that. Take this, these data points and create a spatial object for us. So adding a browse tool after, we can see that exact point on the map. So let me zoom out here and we can see that this store is in Riverton, Wyoming. So we'll next draw a trade area around the store location, the 25 mile radius and then we'll see ultimately which cities we'll map to. So in the trade area tool, we can pick a spatial object and then define a radius value or map it from another field in our data table. So here we'll do this in miles. And again, the browse tool allows us to see the spatial object that's created. Down on the bottom stream, tool number five, we have the spatial info tool this allows us to look at the polygon spatial objects and capture some of the metadata. So in this case, we're tagging on the area in square miles, but we could also use this tool to draw a bounding rectangle, define a centroid, calculate length, or even count the number of points on our map. All right, so a quick select tool here, just to update that uh, add area square mile field name. And let's take a look at the spatial match tool. So here we're gonna be comparing spatial objects from the T or target input. And here we'll have our trade area that we drew in tool number three. And the spatial match tool allows us to define different types of matches. Some great documentation in the community for what those types of relationships look like between the objects. But ultimately our goal here is to extract the non-intersection in non-intersecting areas to define our trade area. So the spatial process tool allows us to cut one object from another or potentially combine objects. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.